What's going on, y'all? 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 It's Saber Dobby. What's going on y'all? It's David or David and I am crazy excited to bring you my first of many many planned videos for the new open world base building survival game Grounded. In Grounded you have your typical HP bar which showcases your current health that can be depleted from taking hits or replenished by items such as bandages or smoothies and you have your stamina bar which shows off how much energy you have to sprint around the world or do actions such as shooting your bow or swinging around your hammer. In between those two bars, however, are two gauges that are just as important, if not more important, your thirst and your hunger meter. In Grounded, not only do you have to carefully maintain your stamina between sprinting and swinging, and your health from evading enemy attacks, you also have to make sure to keep your thirst and hunger levels up, or else you can risk health loss and potentially even death. There are plenty of options to maintain healthy thirst and hunger levels throughout your journey, but for early game players, it can get a tad too dangerous sometimes to venture out and find a good drop of juice or like some tasty aphids. To solve this issue, I carry two very, very important, easily obtainable materials with me on my quests that keep my thirst and hunger levels always topped off. The first is a canteen, and the second is a bunch and a bunch of acorn bits. The canteen is a special craftable item that allows you to carry two scoops of a single type of liquid to either transfer it to a water storage or for you to carry it along with you so you can slurp it up later. To unlock the canteen for crafting, all you have to do is craft your first woven fiber and the canteen recipe should show up in your snack sub tab under the crafting tab. If you don't know what a woven fiber is off of the top of your head, all you need to do is combine three plant fibers and you are all set. To craft the canteen, you're going to need two of the aforementioned woven fibers, and you'll also need three materials called grub hides. In order to find grub hides, you must first unlock the shovel, and in order to unlock the shovel, all you have to do is crack an acorn with two hammer swings, and then pick up the acorn shell. This step is very important for our acorn bits as well, and I'll touch more on that in just a bit. Once you have your shovel ready, run around the backyard until you see some shifting pieces of dirt running around. I use this spot to farm grubs and it has worked out for me so far, it's just on the east side of this rock formation on your map. So once you find the shifting dirt, follow it then hit where it's moving with your shovel once and you will unearth a grub. The grubs have very, very little health and can be taken down pretty easily. Upon killing the grub, you'll find multiple crafting items from it, grub goop, raw grub meat for food, and the grub hides that we are looking for. For my canteen, I like scooping up juices and sodas for the extra hunger refill, but fresh water droplets are usually my go-to since they restore so much more thirst with just one sip. Now that our thirst is taken care of, all we have left to worry about is our hunger. And luckily this one is far easier to obtain than the canteen, but it's not as efficient. To gather acorn bits, simply all you need is a hammer and an acorn. With two mighty swings of your hammer onto an acorn, you'll shatter it and you'll be able to obtain one acorn top, one acorn shell, and two sweet acorn bits. Since breaking an acorn is incredibly quick and easy, I just make sure to go around the giant oak tree and break a good amount of them for the acorn bits before I set off on a journey. For those of you amazing people that have stuck around to this part of the video, I have a super super secret bonus tip for you all. If you really want to step up your sustainment game for long journeys or map farming or what have you, then make sure to craft yourself a set of clover armor. Each piece of the clover armor gives you a stacking passive bonus called fuller, which decreases the decay of your hunger meter, and when you have all three pieces equipped, you get the clover armor set bonus. The set bonus is called moist, which decreases the decay of your thirst meter. To unlock the crafting recipe for clover armor, all you have to do is take a clover leaf to be analyzed and you're all set. To craft the full set of armor, which I highly, highly recommend, you'll need 13 clover leaves, 6 pieces of woven fiber, which equates to 18 pieces of plant fiber, and 2 sprigs. With your canteen, a large stack of acorn bits, and the incredible clover armor sustain boost, you should be able to go on as long of a journey as you want without having to worry about dehydration or starvation. But be careful because there are scarier things out there. <gasps> oh my god, I just fell and there's a spider right there. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's another spider. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> that scared the. Oh my god.
Thank you all for watching till the end of the video. Make sure to whack that subscribe button and notification bell with your hammer or your axe and go leave me a comment down below if you're enjoying this game so far. Leave me a like on this video if it helped you in any way because that would help me a great deal and I will check you all in my next grounded video. See ya! I loved everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush